Hi, this is John, and today I'm going to introduce you to Magic Bullet Photo Looks from Red Giant Software. Red Giant is known for their video editing tools and the looks that are created in many uh, movies and TV shows that you've seen have used their products. However, they also have a plugin for Photoshop called Photo Looks. They also have a, a couple of really great new apps for the iPhone that I highly recommend that you go take a look at as well. But today we're going to focus on Photo Looks, so let's go take a look. Go down to Magic Bullet. Photo looks from our filter menu, and here we go. Let's give you a tour. On the left hand side is where you would get started, and as you touch the word looks on the left hand side, you'll be presented with, and I've got them all open, oftentimes they're all closed up like this, but you have a number of different looks. You'll notice that the, the terminology has to do with the video world, uh, music video looks, you have popular film looks popular television show looks and so forth and as you click on them you can see what each one of these does and get a preview if you want to see the full preview just move your mouse away and that uh, toolbar will will collapse and you'll be able to see the whole image and we'll come back to the looks here and go to the one that I'd like to use for this image we'll come up here and we're going to choose for this demonstration Diffusion Max and pull this away. I really like kind of the soft glow that this is uh, giving me. However, it's not exactly what I want. And so the good news is of all of these tools that are presented for this particular look down at the bottom, I can make some changes. And by the way, let me just step back. You'll notice if I click on something else, the tools at the bottom change. Right, because those tools that are there are what's creating that particular look. So let's go back to Diffusion Max and we'll kind of step through this. What you need to know is the red dots on each of these tools will allow you to preview what they're doing. If you want to preview the entire look, go to the red dot up here, or down here I should say at the bottom right, and that'll give you a before and after pre preview of the entire look. However, if I want to see what each one of these is doing in the look, I can click on and off, and I'll see very subtle changes to saturation and contrast. Here we'll see a big change. That's where the diffusion is happening. And if I want to see what the tools are that I can use to affect that particular tool, or the maybe I should put it this way, if I want to see what the sliders are that I have available for this diffusion, I can come over here to the right hand side and these are all scrubby sliders, meaning as I put my mouse over the, the numerical values here, I have a double arrow. And that double arrow, I can click and slide left and right and make changes. And we'll show you that here in a second. So let's see if I take this one off. I think you know the whole image feels a little bit bright to me, and this specifically this area in the the windows looking outside it gets a little bright. So I'm going to click off for the sake of this demonstration, this particular diffusion. But of course, it's made the entire image rather dark. Well, let's introduce you to some other things we can do. I can go to the tool drawer, and I can open that up. And up here, I have tabs for that correlate, and, and let me show you down here in the bottom left, you'll see subject, mat, lens, camera, post. Those are down here at the bottom of, the, of your screen of the interface. And so here's, if I go click open that drawer, you have same thing, subject, mat, lens, camera, post. And so I'll click on post in this case, and all I have to do is click and drag exposure, and notice it drops that exposure into the toolbar down here. And now I can go over to the right hand side where it says exposure. I can go to where the numerical value is and I can start to, whoops, I can start to click and drag left and make it brighter. I'm sorry, click right. How about that? Sorry about that, folks. Or left to make it darker. Just want to see if you're paying attention. And so I'm going ahead and going to go ahead rather and brighten that up just a little bit. And now, instead of having those blown out highlights uh, up in the roof here where those windows are, I've brightened the image back up, given it the look I really like, uh, by dropping in the Exposure tab. So we have a number of uh, 
tools that we can use to add contrast. We have a spot exposure. We can just go to a very specific area of the image. Graduated is like a graduated neutral density and so forth. You'll just need to play with all those different tools to see which ones work best for you for particular applications. But the point being, what I really like about photo looks is it gives me a great quick way to get some really cool looks and oft times they work right out of the box. However, if I want to change them, I just go to the different tools that have been put in the bar down below and I can tweak those by using the sliders on the right hand side. Or if I want to add to that look, just come over to the drawer here and go pull out the different tools that will help me to create the look that I want to do. And of course, if you wanted to, you could create your in, a, a look from the ground up. You could just bring an image in and not go to the look side over here. Rather, you could start to build your own look by just dropping in the different tools from uh, this uh, drawer that pops out on the right hand side. So let's say that that's what we liked. We could just accept that. And what it's going to do is throw it right back into Photoshop. It's important that you should know that it does not create its own layer. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so it's important that when you start the process to make a duplicate layer. That way, if you want to throw in a layer mask uh, by hitting what I lovingly call the washing machine icon, um, you can do that. And now you can you know hit the letter B for brush, and you can start to. Uh, remove some things, you know, which I don't want to do in this case, just trying to make the point um, if you wanted to. So you have some further control as the point to, to mask out or in part of the look. And oft times, you know, I'm not done. And so in a case like this image, I would have gone into my trusty Nick uh, filters as well and pulled up tonal contrast that I love to use and start to add that which will accept. And now let me just show you the before and after, before and after. But, but the important thing to understand is it all started from here. Magic Bullet Photo Looks gave me this really warm, yummy, diffuse kind of soft look. And then just added some contrast and some pop to that image by using my good friends at Nick and uh, that wonderful tonal con contrast filter. So hopefully that's a good overview of Magic Bullet Photo Looks. If you are interested in their product, you can go to my discount page on the blog and there you'll find a link that'll take you to the Red Giant software uh, page. And there'll also be a discount code for you to save a little bit of money on their products.